Hello, welcome back. Uh, over the winter, I was coming home from work and I found a charbroil donor. What I'm going to do, I'm going to cut all the metal off. I'm going to double the firebox lid, cut some of this metal off. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to reinforce the bottom of my... Um, smoke chamber because it's getting a little weak I'm going to do the same with the firebox so I'm going to trim this metal off it's the same diameter and put it inside and double it up make it a little thicker pull a little bit of heat I was pretty lucky to find this I mean I'd, I stopped and asked the people if I could have it and they said sure get it out of our yard so here it is so we're going to see what we get we'll see in a little bit hello welcome back to my silver smoker restoration project uh, we had a little minor setback here which I'm going to take care of right now you know as you can see I thought this initially was in pretty nice shape when I first got it and then after I've cleaned some of the rust off you can see there's daylight at the bottom of the smoke chamber it's rotted out and same goes for the firebox uh, what this is from these people leave ashes in there over the year, over the winter, and it, the ashes collect moisture and it creates rust. And since I'm going to make this primarily a smoke only, there'll never be ashes in here, never. Uh, and I will keep this clean. And uh, what I've done over the winter, I've acquired a uh, charbroil smoker. Um, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to, what I've done, I've cut the diameter of the bottom of the smoke chamber of the silver smoker. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this and I'm going to double up the bottom, reinforce it, tighten everything up, make it seal. And I also did the same for the firebox. And I've been calling this a uh, restoration project, but I've, it's also going to be a transformation project. Um, I'm going to make it a reverse flow and a traditional. Uh, I've been on the internet and I've been hearing the pros and cons of reverse flow versus the traditional with the diffuser plate. So. I decided I'm going to do both since I have the extra parts and what I'm going to do I'm going to add a uh, have a smokestack here I'm going to put another smokestack here I'm going to run two smokestacks so when I want to run my uh, reverse flow I can put this quarter inch baffle plate in and then plug one smokestack up then when I want to go to traditional I can put my diffuser plate unplug one smokestack, plug the other smokestack, and I can have best of both worlds. And what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to form my own opinion which one works best. Uh, experiment around a little bit. This is just a little hobby of mine, a little project. I'm just... keeps me interested in here. I like this. I like smoking. I've had a uh, Brakeman El Cheapo smoker I've been using. I decided to step up with this, but um, we'll see how it goes and uh, we'll get back to you later. Bye. Hi, welcome back to my New Brunsfeld restoration or overhauling project. Uh, I've been off for about a couple months on this. Been doing some other things. So I finally got back. As you see, I got all my metal trimmed up from my donor charbroil smoker. I'm going to Line the doors. I got this here. I'll line the doors with this. I'm gonna drill holes in here, and I'm gonna plug weld the metal. You can see I did here on this butterfly baffle. I got holes drilled in there. I'm just gonna over, overlap it and plug weld it on there. Um, just I'm getting ready to get started with it. I just want to give you a little update on it. So when I get this all welded up, I'll get back to you. Oh yeah, by the way, over the summer I've acquired a uh, 120 gallon compressor tank from a guy. It's he had a he was gonna make a smoker or a barbecue pit out of it and he didn't have the time and he lost interest, so he gave me this compressor. Uh, 
he already cut the lid on it didn't exactly do cut the lid the way I would have done it but I guess it's something I'm gonna have to deal with but it's um, eventually I'm gonna make a it's a nice nice size smoker it's a tank I'm gonna make a uh, reverse flow out of it but like I say first things first I'm gonna get back to this here and uh, get this done so when I get it all welded up I'll get back to you and show you what we've done thanks bye well hello everybody here I am back at it again uh, I thought I'd just give you a little update of what I've accomplished so far uh, I just finished relining my um, firebox here uh, I want to show you here I doubled, doubled everything up uh, the door of the firebox it's almost a little under a quarter inch thick and the uh, pinwheel damper I doubled that up relined the uh, firebox so it'll be pretty tight um, then I uh, also relined the lid you can see I plug weld plug welded all the uh, holes in there I drilled them and plug welded them so it'll make the lid a little thicker I don't know if I showed you here I got I welded my handles on for the uh, I got new spring handles here so I just welded the brackets on for that um, I also filled the gap there on the bottom of the smokestack here just clean that up a little bit um, now I gotta go work on my smoke chamber as you can see there's a lot of holes in there it looks like a spaghetti strainer but I'm gonna start finish that right now there's my metal there from my uh, my old uh, charbroil that I picked up and stripped on I'm gonna put that inner line that up uh, other than that that's about all we got so far um, I'll get back to you in a little bit then Come on. howdy out there youtubers well here I am back at it. I'm gonna give you another little update I finally finished relining everything now got my smoke chamber all double line now all the holes are filled up firebox is all relined uh, just want to show you I, I put bigger wheels on here I got these wheels off of a uh, little child's go-kart uh, find it in the dumpster believe it or not they work out really nice a uh, little beefier I also put a half inch stainless axle and I also welded an axle shaft um, that's the axle shaft. The axle's inside there actually. It's a, it makes it pretty sturdy. You can see the size difference between the old wheels and the new wheels there. Quite a bit of difference. Um, also welded a uh, valve stub out there and put a three quarter inch ball valve on there for, a, uh, for my grease. I'm going to have the, uh, the nipple come out in front of the smoker. I'll just put a bucket out there catch all the grease um, that's about it right now my next project I'm gonna I'm gonna weld a uh, another shelf in there I want to try to increase my capacity at a sliding shelf above the other grates try to increase my cooking capacity and uh, that's about it for right now so I'll get back to you in a little bit bye hello out there here I am back at it again um, I'm just going to give you a little update here what I'm doing now I'm going to increase my cooking capacity I'm going to add another top shelf on top of my smoke chamber here I'm going to try to increase my cooking capacity a little bit um, I figure I can maybe get two or three racks of ribs on the bottom shelf here I like to try to get another two on top uh, I like my ribs laying flat when I smoke them I don't like them I don't care too much for them racks. Uh, I like to see what I'm when I'm putting my sauce on. It's like a artist painting a canvas. I like it stretched out. Um, what I'm doing now, I just took some of my little bit of tubing here from my garden table, and I made some some spacers here, and I'm gonna put a shelf rack out here. And um, this is just, I'm just gonna slide it in, slide it out as I need it. I'm not. I'm not going to keep it on there all the time in case I want to do a couple butts or something like that on there. Um, 
But I just want to, like I said, I just want to increase my, increase my cooking capacity a little bit. And so I'll get back to you in a little bit here. I'll see what I'm done. I'm going to have to cut out a notch for this smokestack here. And I'm going to leave the smokestack just about where it is. I'm not going to extend it down to the bottom grate. I'm going to try it right there. If need to be, I can always extend it down later. But we'll get back to you in a little bit. Bye. Alrighty, I just finished my top shelf here. Got it all fit in here. And what I'm working on now is I'm going to put some handles on here to grab it. As you can see, I welded one on, or I'm just fitting it up. And all the, all I used was just a uh, two and a quarter inch muffler clamp. I took the band, cut the threads off, welded it on there. It works out pretty good. So uh, just slides in. Uh, just your basic shelf and I'll, I'll take it out and just put it on the table when I'm done with it. But like I said, I just want to increase my cooking capacity a little bit. And uh, I also welded a, uh, took a handle off the old charboil, the junky one that I stripped on. Took the front handle off it and I put it on a smoke chamber so you could pull it. I got one at each end. You can hang a towel on there or put a set of tongs on there. I hate to throw it away. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna put some uh, casters on these legs over here because this thing's starting to get pretty heavy. It's getting real heavy, and I'm gonna flip it over and put a set of casters on it. Um, put the stainless steel shelves on it, but I want to get it ready to paint. I'm gonna get it all painted, and uh, like I say, I want to get it seasoned. I want to start putting some meat on here to give you some videos while I'm doing some cooking. So. We'll get back to you in a little bit when I get it ready for paint, so see you later. Bye.